All right, good morning, everybody. Today is Daf Tesvav, uh, an Erevin, very uh, Geshmaka, Geshmaka Daf. So we actually, we got to the uh, uh, top word, top line, Itamar. So, new sugyo. So if you haven't been holding until now, you missed a little bit, so it's time to jump back in. Itamar lechi ha'oimed me'elav. Let's see, so we've been discussing a lechi, right? A lechi is something you have a muvel, you have an alleyway open into a public domain, so you have to separate it. So we've discussed separating it either by a beam going across or by a lechi, which is basically a board standing up. Um, it has to be at least 10 fucking tall. Um, and this board is basically, you know, standing in the ground, uh, you know, standing upright. So let's say you have something that was there already. It was standing on its own nose. It was there. It wasn't necessarily placed there intentionally as a lechi. So Abai Omar Havi Lechi, Abai says a lechi, and Rav says Amar Lo Havi Lechi. Rav says not a lechi. So Hei Chadolei Samchin and Aleha Me'at Mol. So if a case, in other words, before Shabbos, when they weren't reliant, let's say there was another lechi, and all of a sudden that, they were going to use that lechi for Shabbos, and that lechi got knocked over, whatever it was. So they weren't relying on that lechi before Shabbos. So Kuli Amalei Pligi Dol Havi Lechi, right? They can't just say, oh, the, the, well, that lechi fell down. Oh, we can use this. This is standing here. We'll use this as a lechi. No, you can't do that. You can't play. Monday, mor- Monday morning quarterback or Saturday morning quarterback. So Kipligi, Hecha de Samchina Lemet. Right now, they said, oh, yesterday they wanted to go ahead and use it on Friday before Shabbos. Says, oh, they- we'll use this lechi. But the issue is that that lechi was not originally placed there to be a lechi. So Bai Omar Havi Lechi, the Hasamchina Lemet. The Bai says it's considered to be a lechi because this is something that they relied on, you know, from before Shabbos. And Rav Omar Lavi Lechi, why? Since it was not placed there before, you know, is it when this lechi was placed there, whatever was placed there, right? Maybe it was placed there, you know, a couple of years ago for another purpose. And it was to hold the stand. And then, the, you know, the stand was removed, but one of the legs were still there. And all of a sudden, it's next to the mobile. So since it wasn't placed there as for, for that purpose, therefore, it's not considered to be lohavi lechi. Now, now, maybe you think that just like by lechi, there's a machlokas. Now, whether something has to be made initially as a lechi in order for it to be lechi, because that was what Rava said. Maybe the same thing is by a wall. If you have something, there's different halachas by a wall. We know by, by Erevin, right? You need a wall so you, you know, to carry or for a chatzir. Or by sukkah, right? Sukkah, you need walls. So maybe the halachas of mechitza are the same thing. That something has to be made as it always has to be placed there as a machitza in order to work as a machitza. But if it was just there for some other reason, right, then it would not be. So let's see. Tashma, come listen. A person makes a sukkah by the trees. Vilanos, Stefanos, law. And the trees, right, the, the barks of the trees are its Stefanos, are the walls for it. Kashera. It is considered to be kosher. And so what do you see over there? So you see now, obviously, these trees were planted, you know, 20, 30 years earlier, the trees weren't, you know, they weren't made for the sukkah. Nevertheless, we see that the mechitzas are considered to be good walls of sukkah. So what do you see from here? You see that just, so if we say it's the same thing, so therefore you can say that that when it comes to, uh, like, just like a lechi, in other words, if you want to say like a lechi, like a lechi, if it was there on its own, it should be good. So if the mechitzas on its own, it's good. So he says, no. Maybe they were planted for that purpose. And I was these these trees were placed over there in order to be the walls for your your sukkah. If that's the case, that's obvious. Then, if they were planted for the case, why wouldn't these uh, these trees be good? So maybe you'd say maybe walls you can't use walls for a tree because you're not allowed to try, uh, climb a tree on Yantif. And therefore, a person might use the tree on Yontif or on Shabbos. So therefore, maybe you can't even use the, the bark as uh, walls for your sukkah. So Kamash and that would be okay. So, but in other words, we can't draw an inference there because maybe those trees were planted for the purpose of a sukkah. So Tashma, let's come and listen to another proof. Now, we talked about the case earlier about Pasibiros, about uh, where you have basically four like L brackets at corners around the well where you're able to go ahead and draw water from there. So if you have a tree or something that is in that place, so even though it's not like an L, right, but it's, it's, the area is full. We're going to see this halach in, in a couple blots, right? It's full. In other words, it's not an L shape, but the, the whole area takes up what would be an L. 
So Hayasham, or if there was a tree there, or a gather of fans, or a chitzas akenim, or or reeds, nidon mishum diumat. It's it's considered to be a diumat. So one of the corners, let's say, are reeds, and not one of these brackets that they build in these little walls. So that should work. So what do you see? The reeds were obviously were there from before. They weren't put there, you know, to be a uh, to be a wall around the well. Maybe they were planted for that purpose. See, Haki my Kamashal, and if they're planted for that purpose, what's the Chiddush? So Kamashalon, Chitz is a Kanim, Kana Kana Pacha is Mishlash Tvachim. Comes to teach you the halacha that if they were within three Tvachim on another, then it would count as a the, one of the corners. Kedaboy Mine Abay Me Rabba, like just like that Abay As Rabba, which we'll soon see in a couple blot at the end of a few tests. So Tashma, come and listen. Elon Hamasich Ela Oretz. Now let's see this. You have a tree. Which is over the ground, seem ain noifo govum in arids gimot fachim. So let's say, imagine a weeping willow, right? So you're under a tree of a weeping willow, and then the trees, they, you have all the branches around it, and they all basically come down within three tfachim to the ground. So when you're standing under the tree, right, you're basically surrounded by the leaves, like almost like surrounding you, coming over the top. So you have these leaves coming over the top, right? For those of you who imagine, like a uh, Lerner Park, you have those, all the, the weeping willows, in our, and they used to have them there, like uh, closer to um, uh, Winston Towers. But he, so if you say, within Metallotin Tachlev, you go ahead and carry underneath it. So, what do you, so why? Because you have walls, you're enclosed, you're within walls. Now, what do you mean? This tree wasn't placed there to be a, right, to, be, to enclose you for Shabbos. Nevertheless, we say those mechitzas work. So the says, no, uh, uh, maybe they was placed there for that reason. So if we say that this tree was planted there in order for someone to be able to use it on Shabbos, so um, if that's the case, maybe they should be able to go ahead and, uh, and, and carry throughout it. Why do Rav Yuna say that shows? Aim a talent in the bow. Ella base sight, right? Why do they say over there? You're not allowed to go ahead. It can only be up to five thousand amos, uh, uh, let's say, underneath this tree or this area that's fenced in. And I was this kula to carry in this area because it's not really a rishis rabim. It's not really a carmelist. They allow you to go within uh, uh, five thousand amos, which was the shear that he learned out from the uh, the courtyard of the base of mikdash, a base of sasayim. Nevertheless. We only allow that. So if we say over here that it was made for that purpose, so then why can you only carry up to two thousand? You should be if it was made for that purpose, you should be able to carry more. So our, our answer is Mishum Dahavi Dira Shitashmisha the other. Because this tree, let's say it was planted there. What do you mean it was planted there for the purpose of the, for, for usage? In other words, let's say it was next to a large field, and then therefore there was a watchman. So someone had to go ahead and watch the field. So in order to watch the field, right, they, they wanted shade, so they planted a tree. So this tree, but wasn't its purpose wasn't really used to live in. The, the, the purpose of the tree was really for the field, right? So this is considered the Havi Dira Shitashmisha the other. Right, it, it was its usage is for the air, it's not made for living there, right? The whole deer, the streets like other, aim at Talton, but elevates aside, and therefore that and that's the reason why you're limited. They're not because it wasn't made for that reason, it was made for the reason. I, if it was made for the reason to go ahead and use it as a, as a, as a deer, you should be able to unlimit an amount as long as it's enclosed. We say, no, since it wasn't really a deer made for living. Therefore, it was only made for, for, for the other to go ahead and basically a person who's, who's watching the field to go ahead and sit under it. Therefore, it's up to 2,000, uh, up to basis of time, which is uh, 5,000 amas. And Toshma, come listen, finally, Shabbos betal shu gavoa asara. Let's say a person starts his Shabbos and he's, uh, let's say, on a little uh, mound, shu gavoa asara, um, and it's ten tefachim tall. Who arba? Who may arba amos ad beisas hasayim? And the, the 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 area is basically four by four, four amos by four amos, or up to five thousand amos beisas hasayim. Let's say sorry, so that's his makom for Shabbos. That's where it's considered to be. He's starting his Shabbos, right? He's starting his Shabbos in a place, and you get two thousand amos from that area. Let's say he's in a crack or some sort of crevice, right, uh, in, in the rock. Which is deep, ten tefachim, v'hu me'arba amos, and it's maybe four by four amos. The ad beis hasayim up until two thousand, uh, uh, five thousand amos. The kama, uh, or let's say he's in a let's say uh, cornfield. The kama katsura shivuos mekifos esa, and let's say it's it's cut around it, but there's walls of stalks around him. Mahalech has kula v'chutzala al paim amos. So the, the entire area is considered his shabbos, and he can walk from there, two thousand amos in any direction. Now, over here, 
We're, so what do we see? These walls over here, the walls of the, the mound, the walls of the, 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 in the earth, the cracks in the earth or, the, or the, uh, the, you know, the plowing around it. So over there we say that um, these are considered to be mechitzos, even though they weren't made for that intention. Now the Gemara is going to ask, mechitim, hachinam, ishasam, et chilu lekach, if you want to say, okay, maybe it was made, right, with those intentions. So bishlam, akam, lechai. Okay, you want to say that something was, uh, when they went ahead and they harvested some of the area and they left a space in the middle to be used as walls. Okay, I can understand they made those walls to be a mechitza for Shabbos, right, because they only went around it. Ela, tal, benaka, but if you have a, 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 a big rock, or a, a you know a crater or something like that. So those are not made right for that reason. Michael Mamer, what are you going to say in that case? Right, those aren't made for the purpose of mechitza. You can't give that teretz. So Ella Gemara goes back. Rather, we go back to what we said earlier. When it comes to mechitza, a wall is a wall. A wall does not need intentions. If there's something there that qualifies as a wall in terms of height, width, or whatever it is, then it's a mechitza. Kipligi, one of the argue, belechi. They argue only in the case of a lechi that was made on its own. So by the time, a lechi, mishu mechitza, abai, so it goes the shikasa that says that a lechi is because of mechitza. In other words, that a lechi, when you put a lechi, the reason why the lechi is next to the opening of the wall, because it's acting as a wall. As we just said, a mechitza does not need intention. So therefore, since a mechitza does not need intention, a lechi also doesn't need intention. It doesn't have to be made there, uh, lishma. And Barav Latami, Rav goes the Shitasu Damer Lechi Mishum Hakir. The reason why Lechi is there, so people can walk by, can recognize that uh, there is a difference in Rishuyos between the Mavui and the Rishus Rabbim. See, Abi Adibi Adaim Havi Hakir. Therefore, if you made it with your hands, he you made it purposely. It's considered to be a Hakir. So, so, uh, Joe, Havi Hakir. But if not, it's not considered a Hakir. What was that? Joe, jo, in this case, yeah. remember we I asked you a few uh, weeks, a few pages ago, the true definition of Lechi. Is not really assisting you in the um, in the definition. It's just guiding you where you go. Correct. That's the function. In other words, it's indication. It's almost like a stop sign. You know. Right. It tells so, you, but, hey. But that's the machlokus there. In other words, is it acting as a stop sign, like a hacker, which is what Rava is saying, or maybe like a is saying, it's 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 like a wall. It's just, we, we just like in sukkah, right? In sukkah, we say, okay, you can have two walls, and one wall could be a tefach, and that constitutes as a wall. So maybe the lechi is actually, even though it's only, you know, it, it's not wide at all, it's considered to be a wall. Maybe that's the halach of lechi. So that's what Abayi would say. So therefore, a lechi does not need intentions. But according to Rava, it's just like you're saying. It's like a stop sign. It's like saying, whoa, this is the end of the mavi, the alley. You can't carry between here and the Rosh uh -huh. So that would right. be the other opinion. And that's why they have the machlik. Right. whether right. the lechi has to be placed there, lishma. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, so Yigmar says, uh, Toshma, come and listen. So we say, um, so Abne gather hayaitzos. I mean, I got there, if you have the stones of a, let's say, a wall, that come out from a wall. In other words, you have the end of a wall, and there's stones that are protruding out. Right? So, actually, let me just, uh, uh, actually, no, I'll just hold this here. Uh, actually, one second. Uh, how do I flip this around? Oh, I know. One second. Ah. Gus. All right, so he say, so if you have stones that are protruding from the side, the wall ends there, and there's stones that come out there. So if they're separated from one another less than three tfachim, then it, since we say the, the, the bricks are so close to one another, it, it acts as if it's like one long piece. And it's like a lechi. However, but if it's more than three tfachim, then they're not considered to be connected. Then then you need a lechi to stand on that, and that's on the open side. So what do you see over here? That those bricks were in place early Shema, nevertheless, it's acting as a lechi as long as, as, as long as the bricks are separated less than three tzvachim. The right answer is, Achinam, you should bonam etchilakach. No, maybe it was made the reason. That's the reason. It was made lishma to be a lechi. So yachi, if that's the case, it's obvious. So he says, no, what would you say? Lameser binyana hu de davida. Maybe we say like this. The reason why that it was left open is because it's supposed to be used, right, and maybe they're supposed to build on more to it. Maybe they're supposed to enclose and build another wall there. So maybe you say that it shouldn't work as a lechi because it's not recognizable. Kamash Malad, it is considered to be a lechi. And Tashma. Ah, Mishnah. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, sorry, Tashma. sorry. Yeah. 
the Tani Reb Chia, so this is a Reb Chia taught, Kaisel Shatzido Echad Kanez Mechavero. Let's say you have a lachy, and part of it is indented, right? Part of it is indented towards the end. So, whether you can see it on the inside and because it, 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 it bumps in, but from the, from the outside, it looks similar. So, either it's indented in or indented out. Nido Mishum Lachi. If it's in the end of the wall, it's considered to be a Lachi. So what do you see over here? That it wasn't made for that purpose. And nevertheless, it acts as a Lachi. So you see a Lachi that is not in intention to be placed there. So says, no, after that, it was built, uh, the wall was built that way in order for that to be a Lachi. Yachi, my Kamash, if that's the case, what's the Chiddush there? something which you can see on the yo yo I can't uh, hear anything I don't know if anyone can, can hear you can only see the outside but on the inside you can't recognize it that's still considered so once no, the rab is in the mouth the go ahead and bring a bunch of water and add the other the, the lechi fell down so the lechi fell down also can you guys hear me yo Thumbs up. yo no I, I missed like the whole last sentence there was such a mic yeah <laughs> I can't even see you, Yoel. Your phone, I mean, there's no response. Randy, can you hear me? On my end. Fully fine, and, Randy? And the computer, can you see you're, you're me? You're getting choppy. Stop. The, the, the choppy. people on the computers can see me. You're getting choppy. I'm getting choppy. Um, let's you're see, on and off. Sure you're back, you're back on now. Hey. So, um, all right, yeah, I'm back to two. Sorry about that. All right, Tashma. Should we start Tashma? Derap, yeah? Okay. Try it, see so, what happens. Tashma, come and listen. Uh, yeah, fine. It looks like I have, I have two bars now. Maybe I'll work. So, Tashma, Derap, Havi Yasif, Bahu, Mavi, one time Rav Sinu, Havi Yasif, and Ravuna, Kami, Ravuna, was sitting with her. Amalia Shami, Zil, I see the Kuzi, the Maya. Go ahead and bring me a pitcher of water. So Adya, so but by the, by the time he came, Nafu Lechia, the Lechi fell down. So Achli Biyote. So he basically said, like, put it down. Like, don't care. No, it's not working. You might have to turn off your video. Or Lechi in this Mavui. So, um, so what happened? Achli. Yo, 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 that's a good point. Maybe if you turn off your so, video, it'll be better. It's a, it's a good point. Try is that. Is this better? Is this better? No, it's, it's, it's really can, choppy. Can you hear me now? I'm going to call back one minute, okay? One second. Okay. I'm going to call back. All right? One second. All right, let me go check out what's going on over here. So, uh, what is it? Everybody in the car? Can you hear me now? Oh, much better. Much better, much better. Okay, fine. Yeah, we're all at golf fighting. All right, sorry about that. So anyways, so the, basically the lechi fell down. And he told him to stop carrying because there was no more lechi inside this rishus. So, however, so he said, so, uh, so he says, Amr le Rav Huna loy sever le mar li ismach adikla. What, what do you mean? Even though the, our lechi fell down, we got a palm tree over there. There's a palm tree over there. And so, therefore, let that tree basically be our lechi. So, Amr, dami haimir rabodan, kamad le parshi in shi shemaitse. Right? It looks like this guy has never learned. We weren't relying on this tree yesterday. If we weren't relying on this tree yesterday, how could it become a lechi for us? It can't become a lechi for us because you need a, something only to be made lishma. It wasn't made lishma. So therefore, it's not possible for this to become the lechi. So tam So it sounds like the only reason is they couldn't use this because they didn't rely on it yesterday. But it sounds like if they did rely on it yesterday, it would be okay, even though that tree wasn't placed there to begin with. So what do you see? So court, you see according to this opinion that it's something that is not placed there. Uh, uh, initially, for that reason, can still be a lachi. So, 
So maybe Abai and Rabbah only argued in the case of where they didn't rely on it from the day before, and all of a sudden they wanted to use the middle of Shabbat and say, oh, this is our lechi. But if they, if it was a tree or something that wasn't placed there initially, and they just said, you know what, let this be our lechi, then it would work. So the Gorah says, no, you can't say that. Why? One time there was an area, there was a porch by the house of Bar Chavu. And the Havi Pligi Abai the Rabbah Kulei Shanayu. And Abai and Rabbah always argued uh, on that case. Uh, and therefore we see, because that was something, even though there was, they, it, was, no, it, was, it wasn't placed there initially, but it was something that they argued about all the time, even though they want to be some before, for, some on before Shabbos. And nevertheless, we see that that is still a machloika. So if something, even though that they wanted it to be its lechi before Shabbos, it still is a machloika as to whether you can have it be your lechi or not, because it wasn't placed there initially. And this is the halacha, in this case, is one of the few cases of the halacha like Abaye, uh, which is one of the cases of Yael Kagam, which is the, you know, the six cases that the halacha is like Abaye. Fine. Naya Mishnah. Mishnah says, Bakol oisin lechi. Now, now we're going to move. So everything with anything you can make a lechi out of any material. Even something that's alive, something that's alive, i.e., an animal. Let's say you have a tied up animal or something, and it's standing there. That can be your lechi. But Rameir Eiser, Rameir says no, it's no good. Why? Because what makes it stand? The fact that it has life. It's not just a physical being, but rather the fact that since it, it's alive, that's why it's standing. It's not good as as a wall. Umatami b'shum gaylo. As I look, if something is covering up a corpse, right, it's like the, 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 the stone on top of it, that stops the tumor. However, uh, so if it's a live person, it could become tummy, Mishim Golel. However, Rabbi Meir, Matai, Rabbi Meir says, no, it's Torah because he says that the live person cannot count as a, basically a cover stone. The Kaisvin Allah Gite Nashim. Also, you know what you can do with an animal? You can brand an animal, Gite Nashim, or write on an animal. A get for a woman, right? The, the main points of basically matzering, permitting her to other, uh, you know, to, to dismissing her as, as one's uh, wife and allowing her to other men. And Rabbi Yisrael really pays it. Rabbi Yisrael really says it's possible. Says, so anything that it's alive, you can't use it. You can't use it as a wall for a sukkah. And you can't use it as a lechi for a mavui to have it stand next to the, the entrance of the alleyway. And out of the corner of the wells to in order to draw water when people were a little And also can't be a stone to cover up or something to cover up a, a, a mace. And Mishum Rabbi Yisai Glili Aimer Amru Af Ein Kaisvin Olav Giti You know what else you can't use an animal for? He says you um, not, uh, you also can't use an animal for writing Giti Nashim. You can't write a get on an animal. So my time is Rabbi Yisai Glili. What's the reason called Rabbi Yisai Glili? The time when Rabbi it says Sefer. The when Torah says the cost of law Sefer Christus. It says the word Sefer, a book. You write her a book. What does it mean? A Sefer. So only a Sefer. I can only write her a book as a as a divorce as a divorce book. So Menai the rabbis called over. How do I know? I can write it on anything. I can write it on a piece of wood. I can write it anywhere. It's Kamaloimer. Therefore, it says because of law. Write for her, which is a general term. We call Malcolm in any case. Same K, not Kamaloimer safer. If that's the case, why does it specifically say safer a book? So Lamar Lachot to tell you. Ma safer davar shem rachayim vein oichel. Just like say a book is not something that is alive and is not considered food. Av called over shem bo rachayim vein oichel. So to anything that is not alive. And something that is not food is something that uh, can, uh, cannot uh, uh, cannot be used for a uh, for a get. So therefore, an animal is since it's alive, it's not similar to a book, and therefore you can't use it to write a get upon. For Rabban, and the Rabban who permitted, so mixi the safer doesn't say in a book; it has to be in a book. No, it says safer because of the sefer's devarim uh, biyama. it just means to tell over anything in general. But if you want to tell it on, on, on an animal, put it on an animal. The drum will do also. But I bought an high the cost of law, my darshile. If that's the case, what do they use the pasuk of the cost of law? What do they use that for? So who me boil it? They need for something else. The ksiva misgareshes veda misgareshes bekasa that a woman can only be divorced through writing. Right? You you write on a document to uh, to divorce her, but you can't basically divorce her by giving her money and say, "Hey, take this money," and now you're a free woman. Why? Why would you think that? So good eyes. Come in the of these kishit zila havia. Since we have many uh, uh, similarities between marriage. And divorce, going into the marriage and going out of the marriage. So the havia should be the same. Ma havia bekasev, just like you can bring a woman into the marriage through money. Afi tzia bekasev, so too you can give her money to get out of the marriage. Kamash and therefore teach us that no, it's only through writing through a get is a way of dismissing. Rabbi Yosi haglili hai svara minal. According to Rabbi Yosi haglili, where does he have this? Where is he have this svara? 
So uh, how do we know that you have to go ahead, um, that uh, you have to uh, only writing and not, you can't use Kesa for anything else. So it says, um, right, uh, so it says, Manali. so not claiming to a safer creases says of their safer creases, safer course of ain't double after course because only a book, right, can cut her off. I only writing something to her can cut her off and can't cut her off with something else. Rabot and high safer creases, me boy, if that's the case, the Rabot, what to do with the word safer creases? Me, so Ryan says, me boy, they need it also. The double hakare is bain olive enough. The only way to divorce a woman is if it completely cuts you off from the woman. The Kedetanya, as he learned in the Baisa, Hareza Gite Chamanash Latish de Yayin, I'll give you a divorce on the condition that you never drink wine again, or Amanash Latelchi Levais Avichalilam, or you never go to your father's house, Ein Zekrisis. That's not considered to be cutting off. Why? Because she's still attached to you. She's still bound to not drink wine. She's still bound not to visit her father's house. So that's not called a get. That would not be a valid get. However, if he says to her, you can't drink wine for a kosher lotion meal for 30 days, or you can't go visit your, house for th- your father's house for 30 days, then how raise that creases? That's considered to be cut off because it's not permanent. And Rabbi Yisrael Glili, Mafkele, how does he know that, that Svara? So he says, me kares, creases. He, since it says, it, it, it could have just said safer kares, but it says safer creases. Why does it say, why does the Torah give those extra letters of creases? So in other words, to teach out that also that when you cut her off, that it also has to be something which is permanent and not temporary. Rabbanan, kares, krisis, la darshan. The Rabbanan don't darshan next word, uh, kares, or krisis, and therefore they have to use the whole word to teach you cut off, and therefore they don't learn that you can't give it on an animal. Fine, naya mishnah. Mishnah says, shayara, shechansa, babika. Let's say you have a caravan that was traveling uh, on Shabbos or before Shabbos, and they decide to encamp on Shabbos in, 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 in an open field. They kifu a behema, and they go, basically, they put all this stuff from the animal around them. They, they, they uh, you know, they surround themselves. They put all the saddles and the saddlebags, whatever. They make like a wall around them. So they can carry within it. As long as the fence that they put around there is at least 10 tachem tall. Below you, uh, there's not more open space than wall space. Now, this is at least 51% wall. And called Pirza, she ka'eser amos in any opening, which is more than 10 amos, uh, 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 as long as it's up to 10 amos, because it's considered to be an opening. So if there's a nine amos break in the wall, that's fine. However, yes, to me, can if there's more than that, even though it's mostly fence, but you have a break in the wall, that's 12 amos, then also, then it's also to go ahead and carry inside. So, Zak the Gemara, so the Gemara says, Eat tomorrow. Now we're going to have a question. So, parutz ka'ime. What about if they're the same, right? 50-50. That's going to be the question. So the same amount parrots means it's open. The open area is equal exactly to the closed area, to the fence area, where, where you have the fence. So Rav Papa, Rav Mutter, Rav Huna, Braid, Rav Yeshua, Amar Asa. Rav Papa says it's Mutter. And Rav Huna, Braid, Rav Yeshua says it's Asa. You can't carry it. You need more fence than open space. It can't be equal. Rav Papa, Rav Mutter, why? That's what I was taught to Moshe Rabbeinu. It says, like Tifrod's Ruba, right? You should not have a majority open. So as long as it's 50 50, because 50 50 is not majority open, then it's okay. And Rav Huna Bredev Shu Amar Oster, it's Oster. Why? This is Tata Moshe. Goda Ruba, you should go ahead and fence the majority. So therefore, if it's 50 50, you're not fencing the majority, it would be Oster. So tonight, let's look at our Mishnah. Our Mishnah says, Velo you Perutsos Our Mishnah seems to say the open area should not be more than the, than the fence. Ha kabinyan, but it sounds like if it was 50 50, then it would be mutter. So God says, no, light tame ha kabinyan. Mutter, don't make that inference that if it was the same as mutter, ela ema in binyan, yes, ela appeared to mutter. Rather, learn from there that if the binyan, if the fence was more than the opening, if it was 51%, then it is mutter. Aval kabinyan, but if it was, if it was, 50 50, my will be a lach then, according to your interpretation, then it'll be usser. Ihaki, that's the case. Least thing, why doesn't the mission just say, lo you prutsos kabinyan? Right, let it just say that you should not have the the open space as much as the Walden area. That would be much clearer. So Kasha, you're right, it's a good Kasha. And one final thing, Tashma Kamalizan, Hamakara Sukasa Bishwudin, a person goes ahead and he he roofs his sukkah with uh, with shpudin, with metal pieces, and he can use those for uh, schach, how, or baruch hasamita, or basically poles from a bed. Im yesh revach b'neim, but he put space in between them and he filled it with schach. Im yesh revach b'neim, kamaisa and kashera, if it is exactly the same amount, i.e. 50-50 kashera. So I see 50-50 is okay. So so too for I ask 50-50 should be okay. So the Gemara says, no, hakamayas kinah, shenichas v'yotze. Now is the space that it made for the... Um, 
for the for uh, the in between was a little more in order to be able to pull out the the space. Well, of course, as I have shown that I'm saying you don't have to have it a little greater. Maybe it can be even exactly 50-50 and still, still it could be good. Some Ravami, if no, they made it a little extra. In other words, they made a little extra space in order to go ahead and fill in. And it was schach, and therefore you had more schach kosher than schach puzzle. And Rav Omar, Imhayun, the Sunan Arab, nice and shesi, shesi, nice and Arab. No, if it went one way, then you put it on the other way. Like uh, if it was, you know, if it was parallel, that, or if it was placed, you know, the wide way, then you put it the, the, the other schach 50-50 in the short way. But since that went over it, or vice versa, but since that went over it, therefore that was considered to be covered, and therefore you have more schach kashin and schach so it's not an example of 50-50, and therefore you cannot go ahead and compare the two cases. Yishkayach, everybody, will uh, stop over here, and sorry about that, uh, my connection. I'll see you guys. Have a good one.